Hi guys, I don't normally make news videos, but I felt like this was kind of important. Um, basically, Toys for Bob, which we all know is the creators of Skylanders and the main developer besides Vicarious Visions, um, basically they have been moved to Call of Duty Warzone for the port on their uh, latest season. So, this basically means that they won't have any time to work on anything else than making content for Call of Duty Warzone. Um, Potentially they even had layoffs. Now this is kind of a rumor because Activision came out and said uh, basically that they didn't have any layoffs, but this would be, this is just a rumor, mostly for right now. Um, but this does mean that all uh, studios at Activision are basically working on Call of Duty in some sort of capacity. Uh, Toys for Bob was the last one, apparently. Um, now, it wouldn't be so grim, but of course, we know that Vicarious Visions uh, merged with Blizzard uh, a little while earlier this year, which means our main two developers are out of the ring. Now, another thought could be uh, Beanox. I like to consider them, you know, Toys for Bob, Vicarious Visions, and then Beanox is like the third wheel. Um, but Beanox also works on Call of Duty to some capacity. Um, they're more of a support and a porting studio. Uh, they made, for example, for support, they would make uh, Call of Duty games, uh, like port them to other systems. An example of this is Black Ops 3 for the Xbox 360 and PS3, which looks very bad. Um, <laughs> uh, they also made uh, Skylander Superchargers for the Wii and 3DS, which uh, I think we all know what that looks like. Oh, fired up! Now they do occasionally take the helm and make some games uh, not normally, but they do. An example of this is Crash Team Racing. They've also worked on Skylanders before, but like I said before, mostly a support studio. Um, and if they are working on a game, uh, it's probably not Skylanders right now. Uh, a lot of rumors saying that they potentially might be working on a Spyro 4, if anything. So the future kind of looks kind of grim uh, for Skylanders, or at least for right now. Um, Honestly, with all this happening, the website shutting down, Vicarious Visions being moved, Toys for Bob being moved, uh, Beanox apparently is working on Spyro 4, so there's not really any options. And all the other studios, uh, Activision, don't really work on Skylanders, or have really, like for example Treyarch and uh, Infinity Ward, they all, they, they work on Call of Duty, and that's basically it. The least we can expect is maybe a 10th anniversary tweet, maybe? Max, I, this is stretching. Uh, it'd be kind of cool though, but uh, maybe an anniversary line of figures. Maybe for least, you know, that could be used in older games, because I don't think we're getting a newer game or a remaster. But I could see them basically producing uh, anniversary figures uh, just for the 10th anniversary. Again, that's a stretch. I'll take that as, you know, confirmed. I just think that'd be kind of cool. Activision loves remasters, and we know that. I think Skylanders will get a remaster at some point. It might not even include the toys, which is fine. At this point, we just want something, right? It takes usually 20 years for Activision to remaster a game. Unless it's Call of Duty for some reason, but you know, Call of Duty is their main flagship franchise. Makes sense. You know, that's their cash cow. Um, so, I could see maybe a Spires Adventure remaster coming out in 2031. <laughs> I know, that's 10 years away, but I, I kind of have low expectations. I like to keep them low. Like I said, Vicarious Visions has moved, Toys for Bob has moved, Beanox is probably not working on it because they have other stuff to do. Um, so, yeah, just keep your expectations low. Um, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. I know, not the brightest information but um keep your expectations low take everything with a grain of salt uh, other than that uh, i'll see you guys later